Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Green Labs key card and why it is a complete waste of money. So a few weeks ago, I got incredibly lucky for my scab case and I pulled a green key card. I decided to keep it instead of selling it for the 20 million that it currently goes for in order to test its value. Here's the bottom line up front. The green key card is incredibly overpriced and underperforms. If you find it in raid, sell it. If you're thinking of purchasing one, don't. Let's discuss why. Now this test was slightly different from the other keys we have reviewed. Due to the massive price of lab access key cards and the lack of performance, we only completed 10 raids. I usually like to attempt more raids, however, the results were so poor we couldn't afford to continue without risking delays to our other reviews. What the fuck? I didn't even see him. And labs, everyone. Out of the 10 raids, we only survived four times. To make matters worse, the average amount of loot earned from the green room was only 261,276 rubles. Now, numbers never tell the entire story, and there are some pros that you should consider when thinking about purchasing the Green Labs key card. First, the room spawns several rare items, such as lead X's, black key cards, and stems. This provides the user an extra opportunity to make the most out of a lab's run. Another great advantage is the small number of green cards in circulation. Users shouldn't feel pressured to rush to the green room as it is rarely looted. First and foremost is the price. If you're lucky enough to even find a green card on the market, prices vary from 15 to 20 million rubles. Based on the average return, there are a number of keys that are far more profitable with less initial risk. Another risk is the inability to relock the door once opened. Unlike the red key card room, the single entrance can be camped and subsequently entered by anyone after the initial card user has opened the door. Users caught in the green room are placed at a massive disadvantage. To make matters worse, the glass surrounding the length of the room is not bulletproof. This enables multiplayer teams to suppress the key card holder while a breaching team enters the front door. And finally, the green room is located in the dead center of the lab's map. This high traffic area greatly raises the risk of while entering, exiting, and attempting to reach the green room. Overall, the green key card is a mega chad flex card. Unless a player is drowning in rubles, the green key card should immediately be sold on the market and never purchased. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. And go ahead and comment below about your thoughts for the green key card and other keys you want to see reviewed next.